the Church of Mary Immaculate here in Gicor, to all of you who join us on this preparation and Lourdes Novena, a very warm welcome. Again, we join in solidarity and friendship. We invite you to light your candle at home to join with our candle lighting here. And so we begin together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we reflect on who is God for me? What is the image I carry in my mind and in my heart of the God who loves me? A reading from the first letter of St. John. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world so that we may live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God who loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. This is how we know that we live in him and he is in us. He has given us given of us his spirit, and we have seen and testified that the Father has sent his Son to be the Saviour of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God. So we know and rely on the love of God that he has for us. Our journey of love with God didn't begin today. It began the moment God called us into being, forming us in the womb. We were reforged in the sacrament of baptism, further wrapped in his love. And this journey continues today. In the deepest part of my being, your being, in the being of our world, we are loved. On our journey with God, God acts first. God is inviting us. We can respond with our yes, our willingness to see, our courage to go and find. In these days and months of struggle and uncertainty, of isolation and upset, of grief and loss, Mary calls us to recognise that in struggle we can discover strength, in uncertainty, we can find faith. In isolation, we can discover the care of others, of community. In upset, we can reaffirm new possibilities. In grief, we can recognise we have loved and been loved. And in loss, we can reclaim our hope and deepen our faith. We can move forward in love. Today I invite you to recall a moment when you felt deeply loved or a moment when you deeply loved another. And then think of a moment when you realised that God was with you, closer to you than you had imagined. This moment doesn't have to be either happy or sad. It can be an ordinary everyday moment. And sometimes these moments are life changing life challenging. During the third apparition on the 18th of February, 
Mary spoke to Bernadette for the first time. She said, what I have to say to you does not have to be written down. These words remind us that what is not written down is learnt by heart, not written on paper, but written in our hearts and in our memories. And God's love speaks directly to hearts and is recognised, remembered and known. O oh Mary, you who appear to Bernadette in the hollow of the rock, in the cold and shadow of winter, you brought the warmth of a presence, the friendship of a smile, the light and beauty of grace. In the hollow of our lives, so often obscure, and in the hollow of this world where evil is strong, bring hope, restore confidence. You who said to Bernadette, I am the Immaculate Conception, come to help us sinners. Give us the courage of conversion, the humility of penance, and the perseverance of prayer. We confide to you all whom we carry in our hearts, and especially the sick and those who have lost hope. You who are Our Lady of Good Help, look kindly upon the intentions we place into your care. You who guided Bernadette to discover the spring, guide us to your Son, who is the source of eternal life and who gave us the Holy Spirit, so that we can dare say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Share the Bahawira Tolon de Grossa, Ton Chirna Latvis, Banaha Hu with the Renault, Augustus Banaha, Toro de Vrini Isa. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Our Lady of Lourdes, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Bernadette, pray, pray for us. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray, pray for, for us who have recourse to thee. 